welcome to the Dean Show, which is a way of life where we try to present Islam in a true form to get the correct message out there. Today's show, and I will be your presenter, Yusha Hanif Evans. Today's show is going to be titled, The True Gospel of Jesus Christ, where we're going to, God willing, go through the gospel. The gospel that is in the hands of most Christians today, and you can find it almost every hotel, bookstore, church, anywhere you go, you can find this Bible. We're going to go through this gospel to try to pick out and find what was the true gospel of Jesus Christ. What did he really preach? And was it in, in contradiction to what is now known as the theology of Christianity? So God willing, we're going to find this out today. I begin by using a verse from the Gospels, from the mouth of Jesus Christ Himself. For if we want to know the true Gospel of Jesus Christ, we must go to His own words. Leave alone the words of everyone else and let's refer to His words alone for some time, God willing. Jesus said, and I quote in the Bible, And this is life eternal. This is the way to have eternal life, is that they might know you, the only true God, the only true God, and Jesus Christ to whom you have sent. In these words, if you go into the Greek, means the only one true God and Jesus Christ who has been sent or who has a messengership. It's the same word that is used in the Quran for messenger, which is Risala or Rasulah, is also the same word used in Greek and in Aramaic, which is the language that Jesus Christ Himself spoke, peace be upon Him. So He is saying that this is the way to eternal life, that they might know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Now, what was the real message or the true gospel of Jesus Christ? We're going to cover today, God willing, what did Jesus really preach? What was His real message? What was His real gospel? Who was the God that Jesus worshipped? Who was the God that He turned to? Also, what code of conduct did Jesus follow? Did He follow a law? Did He follow a way of life? And if so, then what was that way, way of life and what was that code of conduct? Number four, did Jesus Christ, peace be upon Him, claim divinity for Himself? Did He claim out of His own mouth that He was divine? Or did He claim otherwise? And was this something that was attributed to Him after His death? We will look at this, God willing. And lastly, was Jesus crucified for the sins of humanity? This is the big one. This is the big one because as Paul himself said, without Christ crucified, there is no Christianity. So was Jesus Christ crucified for the sins of humanity? Is this a teaching of the Bible? Is this correct? Did this happen? We will find out today, God willing. First, let's go to what did Jesus preach? What was the gospel message of Jesus Christ? What was this good news, which is what the gospel means? What was this good news that Jesus, peace be upon him, brought? Jesus said, and I quote, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord, nor is he that is sent greater than him that sent him. And this is from John chapter 13, verse 16. He said, Verily, verily, this is a way of stressing, repeating this word, Verily, verily, stressing that I say unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord, and he that is sent is not greater than the one who sent him. So he himself is saying that I am not greater than my Lord, nor am I greater than the one who sent me. I am the one who is sent, and I am not greater than the one who has sent me. Very clear words. Very clear words. Open any Bible. These are the words in red from Jesus Christ himself. Also, and I quote Jesus, Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice. Because I said, I go unto the Father, for the Father is greater than I. Again, Jesus Christ is saying that the Father, speaking of God, which is a way that the Jews and the way that Jesus termed God in a sense that He is the Father of everything that exists. He is the reason for being, for everything that exists. He is the creator, the fashioner, the sustainer of everything. So the Father in that sense, so that the people could have some relation to God, which the Jews had cut off. They had cut off all relations with God and you had to go to them as an intercessory and a mediator to get to God. So Jesus was trying to bring God back into that personal fold by using and referring to Him as the Father. And He said that the Father is greater than I. He did not equate Himself with the Father. He said the Father is greater than I. Also from the words of Jesus. And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments. This is the greatest of all the commandments and the first of them is to hear, O Israel, to listen, Israel, 
The Lord our God is one God. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. And the second is to love thy neighbor as they love thyself. There is no other commandment greater than these. He did not even refer to the commandments of Moses. He said the greatest is number one, that you love the Lord your God, your God with all your heart, with all your might, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Any Muslim would not, would not be in any way unfamiliar with these two terminologies. This is something in Islam that is known as the rights of the Creator and the rights of the creation. This is what it separates. You have in Islam the rights that belong to the Creator and then the rights that belong to the creation. This is what Jesus Christ was teaching. The rights that belong to the Creator, that you worship Him and love Him with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And then the, the creation is that you love them as you love yourself. And this is Mark chapter 12, verse 29 through 31. Also Jesus said, and he saith unto him, Why do you call us me good? Because one person came to him and said, Good master, tell me how I can have eternal life. He said, Why thou callest me good? For there is none good but one, and that is God. And if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. The commandments of who? The commandments of Moses. This is what he was speaking of. The commandments of Moses, as he himself was a Jew, speaking to Jews. Jesus said unto her, I ascend unto my father and your father. Speaking to Mary Magdalene. I ascend unto my father and your father. He equated my father and your father as equal. He did not say, you're coming to me and then I'm going to the father. No, me and you are going to the same God. I am ascending unto the father. My father and your father. My God and your God. He said very clearly, my God. God, the, the creator of all that exists is my God and your God. Equating them the same. Just as much as He is our God, He was Jesus' God, and vice versa. Very clearly in the teachings of Jesus Christ, what He taught. He taught that there was a God who was the Father and Fashioner of all things, the Creator of everything that exists, and that was His God, and it was equally my God. Who was the God that Jesus worshipped? So if this was His message that there was a God, and that He was my God and your God, who was this God? Jesus said, and I'm quoting another verse that I used before, which I will do many times during this talk, because I want them to be burned and implanted into your head. And Jesus answered, the first of all the commandments is to hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy might, with all thy strength, and to love thy neighbors that love thyself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The first of this was that you, the hear, O hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one God. This is a, a quote from Deuteronomy. This is a quote saying, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one God. This was the God that Jesus worshipped. Jesus said to her, I ascend unto my Father and your Father, and to my God, and to your God. Who was the God that Jesus worshipped? This, this God, the creator of all that exists. The Lord's Prayer. And Jesus taught them how to pray. He said, and pray thus, Our Father. And He was referring to the disciples. I'm teaching you how to pray. Our Father, equating, equating God the same in all respects with all of them. Our Father, who art in heaven, not on the earth, not here in this circle with you. I am not God. I am not the Father. The Father is in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And this is also a teaching of Islam, that God is in heaven. That God is on, above the throne in, 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 in the heavens. This is what Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Matthew 6 and 9. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeling to him and said, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why do you call us me good? For there is none good but one, and that is God. This was the God that Jesus...